night. Ron Priebus joins us right now from the Trump Tower. He has been talking to Donald Trump and sort of guiding him throughout this whole process. Ron, it's always good to have you. Uh, you know, right off the bat, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a certain comment you made on a on a Sunday news show and then something that transpired just a few days later. Let's go back to the comments that got a lot of people's attention. Those people need to get on board. Um, and, and if they're thinking they're going to run again someday, uh, you know, I think that we're going to re evaluate the process of the nomination process, and I don't think it's going to be that easy. And lo and behold, what happened just a few days later, Ted Cruz indicating that he is going to support one Donald Trump. I am not saying there is a link, right, but it is interesting. Uh, did you talk to him or did he hear you? Well, look, I mean, I'm, for number one, I'm very grateful to Senator Cruz for supporting our nominee. Uh, my, my comments weren't as much any threats. It's just basically, look, folks have given their word. And in some cases, in multiple documents, Neil, not just a, a pledge, but a data exchange agreement. Some haven't signed that. Some have. Uh, ballot access agreements in South Carolina. Look, I'm very grateful, though. And I'm also grateful for, for T Senator Cruz because he also laid out a very thoughtful position as to why he supports Donald Trump for president. And let me just say, also say, a, well, why a thank so you late? To, why, why, why well, was he so a, late doing it? And Donald Trump at the time said, when there was this dust up at the convention, that he wouldn't welcome it, didn't want it. He was grateful for it, obviously, uh, yesterday. But, but what happened? Well, look, I think that we've had a pretty bruising primer. I've been pretty open about that, and I think the more bruises you have, sometimes it takes the longer it takes longer to heal. I think it's pretty obvious, but I'm grateful for Senator Cruz. And the last thing I want to say too is that his campaign has also been very helpful in retrieving and working with our data department at the RNC. And so, even throughout this process, even months earlier. They have been good actors with us the whole way through. So I, I'm, I'm grateful, and I'm, 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 I'm not really, I don't want to kind of revisit the past. I'm happy to move forward and happy for his support. All right. Um, do you know, Reince, whether the two are going to be campaigning together? I, I don't know that uh, right now, Neil. I think all hands are on deck uh, here, and, I hear you. and, and I'm, I'm sure... Uh, Donald Trump is mostly concerned right now in, in the debate tomorrow night, and he's working hard, and, and he'll be great. You know, uh, Ryan, I know you've advised Donald Trump during the primary season you would wince if the attacks got personal. There's plenty of that on the record, and a lot of folks say he can't do any of this. I want you to just get a sampling. I, I, I didn't quite understand here the question there, Neil. I'm sorry. All right, well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to throw bit. to some examples of that. I apologize. Let me just say that one of the things that has happened is that he's known, that is Donald Trump is known, for being, you know, very fast, go for the jugular. A lot of folks, yourself included, oh. said don't even go there. Don't try that. Why? Can you hear me? Breathe. You can do it. You can breathe. I, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but just... You're lucky in Ohio that you struck oil. That's for one thing. They're it's, not doing they it. blew up. Hold it. They They're blew up. It. Wait a minute. Built an unbelievable company worth billions and billions of dollars. Mr. I don't have to hear from this Mr. man. Mr. Believe me. <laughs> we don't need a weak person being president of the United States, okay? Because there that's what we'd get if it were just. I'll tell you what. We don't need that. All right. Sorry to jump on you there, right? But that's the stuff you <laughs> okay. don't want to see, right? Well, look, I mean, it kind of all depends on the circumstances. I mean, I think in those debates, it was kind of, it was some wild stuff at times, but it depends on the circumstances. I think that these debates are, 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 are going to be a little bit more subdued. There are two people. I think, you know, uh, the importance and the level that, of things that are happening, uh, obviously, tomorrow night are going to be a different atmosphere altogether. To you, uh, think that if he can go through this <laughs> night holding his own, uh, not turning insults back and forth, that the pressure really is on her. Everyone seems to say the pressure is on her. Do you subscribe to that view? Because her camp comes back and says it's being very unfair the way it's being portrayed that, that uh, she has a much higher bar. 
Well, she does have a high bar. I mean, she's been doing this for over two decades, you know, two and a half decades. She's been Secretary of State. She's been in, a senator. She's been living politics her entire life. And so, yeah, the expectations are very high on her. And so, look, Donald Trump's never run for public office before. This is his first time. He's on a huge stage. I think he's going to be great. I think the electorate wants the change candidate. They don't want the status quo candidate. But with being the status quo candidate and the person that's made their entire living off of politics, she's going to have to perform at the highest level that All we've right. ever seen. Brian, thank you very much. As much as they it love you sounds like you you're in a here, sports bar or something. <laughs> Very close, but apparently they're handing out free T-shirts. No doubt they say Cavuto. But, uh, no, that's what's causing the uproar here. So, and, and whatever you're saying, of course, Ron. All right, I'm thank sure you that's very, very much. We'll see how the debate goes. That's exactly.